can you maybe have some some tips why it actually is very positive to work with somebody so close to you? For me, your brother, for you, your partner, to keep <coughs> it so close to the heart, business yeah. and your personal uh, personal life. Well, I think it it for us it's very beneficial because we know each other really well. So we know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and we can help each other, you know, move beyond that. And uh, yeah, we we know each other so well you know we see in, in like a split second what's going on in each other's heads um and i think uh being a couple and also the couple that we are very very connected with each other that yeah that really helps in the business and um it really helps us communicate and uh, i think it also challenges you to communicate even better um yeah so my tips would be you know uh, know each other's strengths or be aware of each other's strengths and weaknesses and talk about them and, and communicate with each other. Keep communicating. It's each mostly other. communication. Eh? So yeah. it doesn't even have to be family, of course. It no. can also be a, a business partner. Yeah. Uh, and most of the time it comes down to that. People yeah. be sucking it up too much and then it becomes this like uh, buckets of problems and at one point it yeah. uh, overfills. Also, like, when you have problems and you don't know each other very well, you can never rationalize the the things or think like, oh yeah, maybe it comes from that with him or her because she's like this or that, mm. you know. Uh, and I think knowing each other already solves a lot of possible conflict. Maybe still we do have conflict though <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. So so maybe it's also good to to hear. Is there something that you say? Oh, but that makes it quite difficult to work so close with somebody or uh, with family. Ooh. Like, oh, that I, makes I it kind of really like everything about it, to be honest. <laughs> Guido might say differently, but he, he's sometimes not sick of me, but, you know, I always like to be around him. Yeah. It doesn't matter how long, often, how many days in a row. I really like to be in his company, and, and he is sometimes like, yeah, I've had enough. Had enough. For today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how do you do that? Because he's uh, mainly creating all the music, you're doing more of the business side of things, um, how did that uh, dynamic between you guys came to be? Was this something that you discussed? Is this something naturally that was like, okay, that makes complete sense? Yeah. How did that how did it work out for you? How did you decide that? Yeah, it makes complete sense, really, because he's really bad at organizing <laughs> and keeping control of things. And, and I'm really, I'm, I'm a creative person, but I, um, yeah, I'm not, I do not have the patience. He's very patient and I'm very impatient, so... I, I like to do the jobs that I do are kind of like quick and, you know, uh, a lot of things at the same time, small tasks. And he's better at the do, doing the long day in the studio with the details. And um, so it, it, it was naturally, like totally natural. Like It's a good yin-yang. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, it's good to hear saying that because a lot of people that work together, especially if they're very green and very new to it, yeah. They sometimes think they have to carry the efforts 50-50, but mm. then on all disciplines, mm. which is, I believe, a mistake. Like There is a difference in somebody is just better at that, and it's not a, an issue or it's not a weakness to say, hey, I'm actually not that good at this. Maybe you do that because you are better at it and you think it's more fun. Yeah, This is kind of your, your start when, um, when you kind of dedicate the jobs that you have yourself, especially if you start to the people within the company. Yeah. So I, yeah. you have a good yin-yang. I, I like yeah. that. Yeah, well, and, it, and, and there's no different way because I cannot make music even if I wanted to. <laughs> like, I have, I do not know how to play an instrument. I do not know how to sing. So That makes it maybe very good in your position because yeah. you have not the emotional value to it. Yeah. So And you know how much emotional value Guido has when creating some something. Yeah. That you can sell it maybe without as much attachment as he has to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, he does good. not have a big ego when it comes to his music, but still it's helpful, I think. And also I can give him perspectives of a non-music maker, which is very helpful to him as well sometimes. Yeah, because if you, uh, the music maker, the composer, sometimes they, uh, and we, we care about those details. Yeah. That is maybe just a tiny percentage of, high professionals that will notice things like that mm -hmm. when maybe if you say and you listen to it you're like okay but this is already the quality that's so the, the bar of quality is sometimes very hard to dedicate from within the discipline mm. uh, because you see it that's why you're the professional within that thing so if you're a level designer or a programmer or a 
a narrative writer or composer, sound designer, you see all the little details in that. So yeah. I think that makes it very very good that you have somebody a little bit outside of it, yeah. that knows the industry well, that knows music, but then also not to be too attached to the compositions. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah. And sometimes it's hard though for me as well because I do not have control over the end product that we deliver. So yeah, yeah I can <laughs> I can help him of course, but you know, I do not have full control. Hey there, I appreciate you watching the video. If you like this one, check out this video or that video. And if you want to support the channel, make sure to click on top of my head on the logo and subscribe to the channel.